Lego Landlord here, and today we are taking a look at Lego Transformers Novatron. So here is Novatron in his data satellite mode. The reason for me making him a satellite is pretty obvious. Uh, I'm a big fan of space and space exploration, and satellites just so happen to fall into that category. Uh, as you can see, I mainly based the build around this 1x2 phone tile, which I used as a little interface for, say, an astronaut of this size whoops, to come and work on the satellite. But that's the reasoning for there being a phone tile. As demonstrated in the clip before, uh, these arms are just attached by one of these one by one round studs with bars. So due to how I've designed him, there is no way to fix that, unfortunately, but uh, you can just deal with that on your own accord. They just attach right there. But other than that, he's a solid figure besides his uh, arms. And you can see that he does use a couple of these droid arms. Uh, a cautionary warning is to be careful with these. These do have a tendency and a known record of becoming very loose over time. I have had my battles with these, so just be careful with these and you'll be fine. Uh, coming to details, we already talked about the phone piece. Uh, we do have these satellite solar panels, which can fold up just in case you need him to be shot up in a rocket inside fairings. So that's neat, but you can also have them deployed just like this. You can see I've added one of these... Uh, higher pieces, and it just has a translucent blue one by one in there, so, uh, but other than that, the antenna assembly does kind of line up in the middle, but that's about it for satellite mode, let's get on to comparisons. So here you can see him next to the astronaut as shown before. I have made an official astronaut this time in my human scale, so you can kind of see how he scales with that. You can have him work on the phone assembly, but other than that, uh, that's how you can see how he looks with a human. Here he is next to Kyoto, and I have rebuilt Kyoto. I'm going to make a video covering all the changes I've made to my previous Transformers, uh, but here you can see him next to just a standard truck. He's about the same size but he's very long, surprisingly, but you'd expect a satellite to be long, considering it has an antenna section. But other than that, let's get him out of the way. Here he is next to Speed Champion's Lockdown to see how he scales with kind of a bigger figure in this respect. I think they'll look fine together, but here he is next to Donut. And you can see, I've actually really, really remade Donut. And I decided that, yes, this is going to be another change. And yes, this is a version 3 of Donut. But uh, otherwise, I don't want to focus on him too much. This will be covered in the changes video coming later. So expect that. But here he is next to a car. And finally, here he is next to his mortal enemy. Turbo. You can see how these two contrast from each other. Turbo is a lively spaceship. He has bright, vivid colors. You can see, again, I've changed the cockpit, but we'll get to that in that later video. Whereas, uh, Novatron here, he's very dull, very bleh in terms of color and character just from his satellite mode. Uh, but you can see how these two are actually a very similar scale, if not the same size in robot mode, same height. Uh, but you can just see how different their modes are. But other than that, here they are finally at last. Uh, I've worked towards this for a little bit, but not too long. So it's still satisfying to see these two together, honestly. But let's get these out of the way and let's move on to transformation. Transformation for Novatron is quite simple, but everything has a place it needs to go in the robot mode. As with all my other Transformers with useless bits hanging off, I try to incorporate those into Transformation as much as possible. You'll see where these go in robot mode. 
but first we just want to rotate these out. Then we are going to come to the back and just raise this up and split these and then you can swing these out on these bar pieces. You want to hold the back as you do this simply because there is no backing and these tend to fall off quite a bit. So you just want to hold the back while you're doing this and get those adjusted. Now we can come to the top and bring these out and as we are bringing these out we actually want to bring these down here sorry again demonstrating how loose those are you want to rotate these one by four or one by one cylindrical corner tiles and then you can bring this down so just do this on the other side rotate this corner tile without breaking it obviously sorry if I'm covering up all the good bits but you can kind of see what I was going for there. That reveals this head. So now you want to go take this entire section and just bring it down. You will then go bring this out, bring that up, and then you can swing this entire section down. And this little one by one clip with a cheese slope, you just want to push the head forward a bit there, and then this will push through like there like so. Be sure to be cautious about the arms. Again, these tend to, one, pop off off the stud, and two, these arms tend to come off this clip. So just be a bit careful with that, and you should be fine. But now you want to rotate this entire section around. Then you can just bring this back, rotate the legs around, so you can see that the solar panels do become the legs. These are just on stud friction, so be kind of careful with these. And then you can bring these down, like so. After a bit of fidgeting, I'll be right back. After reassembling him, you just want to bring the legs down, and then you can bring this section down. This section will just kind of lay like that, and it kind of supports these bar pieces. And that angles his chest as well, so you just want to bring this up. Then you can shove this cheese slope in there, then rotate the arms to reveal the hands or the fists. Kind of these tentacle looking bits. Like so. You want to adjust everything. Make sure everything is fine and dandy. And there we have Novatron in his robot mode. And here we have Novatron in his robot mode. You can kind of see what I was talking about where he turns from a thin wispy satellite into this kind of bulky character, honestly. I like how I made the chest kind of fold out to represent most of his character. And I made these uh, 1x4 circular tiles meet up with the phone panel to kind of represent the main details of the chest. Uh, the head, if you notice, if you follow my Instagram, you will notice that it's a bit different from what it was previously. Uh, I decided to change it to fit more in line with Turbo, honestly, but I think it represents a good character in him. Uh, but coming to details, here we have the phone again. It represents the main details of this entire robot. You can see now he has these tentacle-type hands with these little suction cup bits. And I try to make that considering he is a satellite and uh, Revenge of the Fallen movie sound wave has tentacles. Uh, coming to the legs, you can see how I used these solar panels. Like I said before, I try to incorporate everything into the robot mode. So, sadly, uh, using these satellites as the legs kind of made a big behind. Now, I'm fine with this. I'm very fine with this. It kind of represents a bee stinger. And you could remove this, and you could use this as a weapon, but I just, 
I just don't like using it as a weapon, so I'm fine with using that for now. But other than that, that's about it. For articulation, he does have up and down, back and forth at the head. He does have a 360 at the head. The shoulders can go up and down. They can go 360. Uh, you can bend at the elbow, bend at the shoulder. And uh, the torso actually does have a waist swivel, surprisingly. Uh, standard articulation for my legs. You can bend the knee. You can out and in. You know, this kind of stuff. But it all is it, it, ugh, it is all on stud friction. Sorry about that. But... You can kind of see what I was going for. He does have a fair bit of articulation, represents a bit of character, but let's get into comparisons, shall we? So, for comparisons, here he is next to that same terrified astronaut. Obviously, he's quite a bit larger than the astronaut. You'd expect him to be kind of large, considering he does go up in this ginormous spacecraft, but... Other than that, you can kind of see how he scales with a the human there. Getting that out of the way, here he is next to Iron Man, so you can see how he scales with a minifigure. Here he is with Nightwatch. And surprisingly, he is taller than a space shuttle. Uh, now, uh, sizing works quite a bit different in my universe. Some things are bigger than others, I guess, but... Not all sizing is perfect, not all comparisons are perfect, and finally, here we have him next to Turbo. So you can just see how he scales with this mortal enemy, you can see them standing off next to each other, and here he is with all three. So you can kind of get a bigger picture of how these three kind of compare the three space boys at last together. Now I'm going to make another... Uh, spacecraft transformers simply because they're just so fun to make they're they don't have as much constraints as some of my other transformers uh like donut or kyoto but other than that i like the way they three look together and uh yeah that's about it but yeah that's about it for novatron on a side note yes you will expect that video to come later today about the changes i've made to some of my transformers it's just going to be a two minute long video at most i bet but other than that, I like the way these two look together. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.